All right, Tommy. Hey, here we go. Uh, Friday before the uh, the true Independence Day. Yeah, it's not uh, Juneteenth. It's no. The real Independence Day of the United States of America. The greatest country July ever, 4th. ever on the planet. Yep, July and, 4th. Uh, be, a, be proud of your country. Don't be uh, bullied into thinking we're no good because we are the best. And people, athletes that are uh, uh, ashamed of the anthem and hiding their faces and stuff, then don't represent the country. Go somewhere else. 152 country people from countries. I'll start again. People, uh -huh. 152 countries are represented by the people streaming through our borders to get away from their issues at their place. But we're a horrible country. No, we're the best in the world. And By the way, G uh, General Z over there, or Chai or Jick, or Jake. Jickweed, he's over in China declaring I him. him. I know him. I know him. I've met him. They're declaring him the, uh, he's declaring China the world power and anybody who messes with him. You know, they gun down their own people in the street. No, that, that, that's shit. Let me, let me that's tell you, shit. since you mentioned that, the world power. Can we, you know, with Trump gone, I know a lot of make American stuff again is going to go down the toilet, but the Chinese are so strong, they can't make a goddamn nozzle for a garden hose. Well put. They, Did leave, you ever notice they, they suck. Leave? They're yeah. horrible. World power. Oh, very good. We put a little hose there. Yeah, we get a go here. Yeah. You're watering some grass and you're, you're soaked. You're soaked. Um, I want to start out, though, after that little diatribe with, uh, I want to start out with uh, Jello Man. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I rape women. Dope and grope. <laughs> little melatonin in the coffee. Actually, I tried that. It didn't work. Didn't work. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, he's out. By the way, he had the press conference and somebody, I love you, Mr. Cosby. Yeah. No, you don't. He's not Huxtable, okay? No, it's not Dr. Huxtable. And he's not, I was always said I was innocent. No. No. You're not innocent. No. You got out on the technicality. The technicality in this horrifically white, system, uh, systematic, racial country. Right. The, Let a black man go. Well, well that's amazing. I thought it, I thought they didn't do that for black men. No. And uh, it's it's written in our horrible, uh, 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 oppressive Bill of Rights and all that stuff. Anyways, the technicality got him off. Yeah. And I love it. And, and, and his, one of his uh, one of his uh, uh, lawyers says, "Well, it's because you know this is for Black America. This had nothing to do." with if he was purple. This had to do with the technicality. Listen, the man was a beloved comedian. He was great, but then, like O.J. Simpson, we found out he's a criminal. Right. And he remains a criminal. And I don't care if he's purple. Right. Can you say phony? Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's out on the streets. And um, what else has been going on? Uh, 28 shots fired, people shot last night in Chicago. Four dead, and one's a 30-month-old baby shot in the head. Where is BLM? Where are the protests? Where are the cries for help? But what does the mayor say? It's it's white supremacy. White supremacy. It's racism. So let, let's break With that. The media. Can we break that down a little bit? Certainly. Okay. So again, I, I, this isn't about being racist. This is about, I guess, which these are about facts. And I guess facts. We don't want to get that in in the way of a good story, but. Maybe on these two hands, maybe uh, a white police officer did something to a black man that shouldn't have happened. And for every one of them, I hope they're prosecuted. Okay? I really do. And the guy in Minnesota can rot in jail. I don't care. Maybe this many. Okay? 20, 42 shootings overnight in Chicago. It's all black on black. Those are the facts. Okay? Yet all we talk about is defund the police. The police That's are the enemy. Right, yeah, that's working great. By the way, we got our Blue Lives Matter flag up here. I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. Um, I want I want a life and a community with help from the police officers. Interesting too. In uh, right over here at the Galleria um, Millennium, the, the Galleria parking lot, there was a shooting uh, early evening. Mm -hmm. You know, when people were still shopping and going in and out of the hotel and stuff like that. A shooting. Two people were shot. Bunch of witnesses. No one knows nothing. No That's N U T T I N. They know nothing. Not a single cell phone. Not a There's car. There's never a cell phone at a drive-by shooting, and I ask you why? why. So they don't know the make of the car. Nobody got the license number. Um, no cell phones are rolling. Okay, but if a police officer pulls up, 3,700 cell phones are filming. Or a dumbass uh, comes out of a Dollar General and makes a stupid comment. There's 18 cell phones are rolling. Remember that happened? Yeah. 
But um, is, I'm going to tell you people something here. Get involved in your town board meetings and you stuff. Tell them. You tell them. Because this is coming too close to home. And uh, maybe they won't do it in the city with India Walton. But maybe it should start happening here. Ask your police. Are they going to prosecute? This is at the Galleria Mall. This is at the Millennium. Yeah. Uh, shots fired inside. And I want to know what my town supervisor plans to do about this. Are we prosecuting? Yeah. Are we going to make it known that this is wrong? And uh, there's a, if for you guys with satellite, turn on um, 148, the Radio Classics. There's a show on called I Was a Spy. I Was a Communist for the FBI. It's based on a true story of a guy that went undercover. Back after World War II in the, in the Cold War days, the, uh, the Soviets were invading us through our town boards, mm -hmm. uh, school systems, going to a union meeting and rebel rousing, right. kind of like George Soros, yeah. and making it look like it's this, but it was really that. Get involved and stay on top of that stuff. This woke crap, this Pledge of Allegiance suck stuff, get, get involved. Go to a school well, board meeting and find out what they're teaching, and maybe vote no on a new football field. DeSantis uh, in Florida just wrote up a law that said children can pray if they wish in school. God bless him. Uh, he will not stand for this ridiculous new curriculums in the United States. Unless they're going to tell me about the Irish potato farmers and the Italian immigrants, I don't really give a it's shit what happened in 1690. Currently on the planet, there's slavery going on as we speak in, in a bunch of countries, including uh, Oprah's favorite spot, Africa. And China, there's slavery going on. China, just, just whites, browns, blacks are all being enslaved, depending on where you are. Yet, and ask, the, ask LeBron, he'll tell you the NBA loves China. Look at all the crimes there. Yeah, but, but he's enslaved. Huh? When you only make forty-three million a year, that's slavery. I guess in a way it is. He yeah. had he had to play for the team that drafted him for a while. It was terrible. And defund the police. Yet he walks around with an armed got posse. Yeah. And uh, I see the squad was up to it again. Keep the funding. Keep the funding. Yet they all have armed guards. Yeah. Can you say, hypocrite? <laughs> I hypocrite. thought that you could. I thought that you could. So uh, what are we gonna do about this? Stay involved, guys. Stay involved in your in your school board elections, your town elections. Get involved, and for God's sake, you people in Minnesota, stop voting for this Omar. Oh my God, she married a brother to get over here. Ask people what they stand for. Okay, don't go in and look at, for example, the mayor mayoral race in Buffalo. Right on. That was a that was like the uh, the Trump presidential race. That they walked in. And they flipped levers for somebody who wasn't Byron Brown, but had no idea that right. they were dealing with a criminal. Sometimes welfare time, fraud. And you go on and on. Time for a change might be like your bed sheets or something. Yeah, and, not and, not people. And be careful with that because it, it gets a little crazy. But stay involved. Find out more about these people you're voting for. And by the way, if, if, if we're such racist, I, I'm fine with Byron Brown. Yeah. Last I looked, he was a black man. Right, and uh, you're certainly not going to do much at the central terminal and get risk getting shot. No. Do you clean that crap up? But he's, his hands are tied because you got to have all the, uh, the defunding layer, of the police. Different and, layer of government. You know, they, they look at this Gugino jackass as a hero who got involved with those riot guards, and you know now he's a 67, 70 year old hero. He's an asshole. Is what he is. Oh, Remember him? He got pushed down by the riots. Yeah, squad. you're kind of violent now. I am. Um. um so, all right, we're, we're kind of done. We just want you to continue yeah. to watch what's going on. And, and be proud of your country. And remember this, in God we trust. In right. God we trust. Absolutely. Everybody else bring facts, right? Yeah, everybody else bring facts. I like that. In God we trust. And Cassidy, everybody so. else, we're going to see facts. But the thing is, is that we tell you facts. Right. Okay? You can take what you want and, and, and discern from them, but we say what the facts are. By the way, I'm wearing my straight from the hip t-shirt. And I want to say hi, shout out to our friends in... Tress Rivers, Quebec, yeah. who are also wearing, and we're called up there. We're being on YouTube up in Quebec, and we're yep. called uh, Abenem. Abenem, but there's a problem. They're working on uh, deciphering the French language for us and a little interpretation. There's a problem. We're going to be on there. Yeah, there's there's been some misinterpretation of some of the things we've said. Yeah, a <laughs> little bit. But uh, we don't uh, we don't cross language as well. Fourth of July weekend. I hope everybody has a ball and. Um, you're going to be going to Molly Hatchet tonight. Yes. Nice band. Uh, strange voice for a girl, though, but I do like her songs. <laughs> Flirting with disaster. I, I, I've i never met Molly Hatchet. I hear she's a great person. I will be seeing <laughs> this weekend, and I, I'll miss you, but uh, I'm going to see Stir and a band, <laughs> local band called Kids. Kids. K-I-D-Z. K-I-D-Z. Well, you know, it's, Steve it's, Newman, it's, I, she'll know what we're talking about there. And it's good stuff. Apple, Apple, Apple Um. All right, so Sabres hired Granado. 
it was the move they had to make. It was the right move. Um, now we got to figure out what's going on with. Um, there, there's some talk out there. You, you'll hear it on the yellow pages and stuff. The Sabres haven't interviewed Owen Power. What's going on? They haven't interviewed anybody, guys. Yeah. The draft's got a ways to go down the road. It's kind of hard to interview draft prospects without a coach, right? Yeah. So relax with all of that. We got three weeks for um, the draft. Uh, Owen Power or uh, Beneers would be my two. I'm leaning. Either way, I would I would be okay. I'm leaning toward Beneers. I like everything I hear about him. Me too. But some s friends of the show, I should say, yes. have told me prepare for a name William Eklund. Yeah, and I that scares me. That's Swiss Miss. It is. The, the polyester is what scares me. The wild and crazy guys. <laughs> I don't know too much of that. But, uh, we, got, we got Swede coming out of our left. Uh, I like Veneers, and um, it, it'll be curious to see. I mean, uh, another question not asked at these press conferences and such, it, does Sam really have to go? Can we keep Sam? I'd love to keep Sam Reinhardt here. I'd love to keep Jack. Let's, we, we both agree on that. Press conferences and such. Right. You I don't know, like how you put that. You know, uh, Different like shows and stuff. Right, yeah. right. Okay. And um, I'd like to keep both of those guys, but <laughs> if it is definitely they have to go or whatever, like they were saying today on the yellow pages, the Sabres could be $60 million under the cap if certain people are gone. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, but we can't you play the cap. You haven't re signed anybody yeah. yet. You still got guys that you have to re sign. And, you, and if you're going to get rid of guys, you got to get trade value back. And don't go into this free agent. <laughs> Uh, spend a thon. No. no. You know, don't um, need 28, 29 year old bums. Don't need them. The anniversary of Vili Lamo. Yeah. Oh Do we God. have to remember that? And mm -hmm. Christian Erhoff. And by the way, $8 million a year <laughs> through 2028, they're paying Christian Erhoff. And by the wow. way, uh, the, the, the head mo that year, no, fun, no pun intended to Russ Serino, uh, <laughs> Brad Richards, he was not neither. No, remember, we, we all, wanted him. He went to New York and he stunk. And um, um, so. Let's not get giddy with this. Draft, keep your own. Spice in the right uh, free agent. But if Jack indeed has to go, and uh, I kind of like the, the LA idea. We're going to have to talk up. The flags are thrown. It's getting dark. This could be at NEM! NEM! This could be the beginning of. Yeah, no. This never happened years ago. We didn't have the uh, global warming. Yeah, it was never went. Were, this is what's happening under this horrific climate change. And we're on the greenhouse gases. Notorious. Yeah. Might be your gas. But, uh, anyways, um, anyways uh, the, yeah. The I, Sabres, we, it, about three weeks we'll have a lot to talk about. Right now it's kind of tough. There's not too much going on. As far as um, the players and, and, and the interviewing pro process, yeah, we'll, we'll get process. there. The, um, I'm 63 now. I know I don't look a day over. 64. But um, I'm excited. I, I want to start seeing our team play hockey. And I'm not going to go back and the cup holders are dirty and there's pigeon shit on my seat. I don't care about all that crap. Let's move well, wait, forward You'd now. be okay sh sitting in pigeon shit? No, but I mean that's all they keep bringing up. And 10 years of gloom and doom and Hamster should have bought the team and all that nonsense. No. Let's move forward now. Let's get this thing going. I Granado hiring, I, I like. Oh. Um, and uh, let's move on. It, it is something moving in here. Yeah, is that yeah, oh boy. By the way, you smell a lighter fluid? Yeah. But um, anyways, guys, we've been through just about everything. Flyovers, fires. Um, now it looks like a tornado coming our way. Looks like we might have our first mini tornado on air, on live. Um, maybe we'll win a Pulitzer. It's, it's, hard, coming in. it's hard to win a Pulitzer with 32 viewers. <laughs> Maybe somebody out there. We are. We were nominated for Von Flachna Hodden. Yeah. And uh, that's always a good sign. That's good. You get a, if you win the Von Flachna Hodden, you get a free hot dog. That's right. Because that's German Wait. for hot dog. Two garnishes. Only two garnishes. If you want a third, you got to pay extra. Anyways, guys, it looks like we're going to get washed out here in a minute. But happy Fourth of July. Enjoy yeah. it. Greatest country in the damn world. Yeah. Okay. Here it comes. Everybody. It's coming. It's over. Ah! Timmy! Timmy! Ah!